It's our fifth day in Tokyo and it's been raining all morning. We decided to make our way to Shibuya, but ran into this. Jam challenged the leader and asserted her dominance in the form of dance. I think we just found the crossing that everyone talks about. It's supposed to be the biggest one in the world. So look at the mess of people. <laughs> See it? Boy, almost got hit in the face. There's a lot of, there's so many people here and then with the umbrellas it doesn't help save space even in the slightest. <laughs> oh look, we found Tribuya 109. Times Square is at nothing on Tribuya. We're in a mall that's supposed to be the fashion capital of the world. I've got a dog on my hat. And it's my hat. Uh, I don't know about that. Cases, I don't belong here. Same. Check this out. She's got a hole. Boom. That's right, I was tricked into drinking coffee creamer when all I wanted was chocolate milk. Let me get to the first one. And on the fourth floor, they have a beer vending machine. This is going up to nine. Oops. Why is it going to nine? This guy keeps bumping on that. True. It's cold and raining still. It's supposed to rain tomorrow too. But we're finally gonna hit up a place that I've been wanting to go to the whole time. It's called Piss Alley. And Jam hates the name. We're gonna try some yakitori finally, which is really just meat on a stick. <laughs> meat on a stick from Piss Alley. I think it's that street right there. Right next to this giant jumbo sign. Right next to the jumbo yeah, I think it's these little side streets right here in the green. Yeah. It's a piss alley. It's all of these places. There's like, what, I think it's like 200 restaurants or something in this small area. Each one only holds like 10 people inside of it. We were in like a super small place and then the GoPro beeps whenever you record. I didn't really want to 
have it be beeping while we're eating, having a bunch of people stare at us since we were the only, since they stared at us when we walked in. What do you think of it? Alright. <laughs> a little intimidating, but okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I asked for pork tongue. I think I might have gotten liver instead, but whatever. Now we're heading just back to the hotel. On a hunt for chocolate milk? Maybe trying to find my chocolate milk finally. Hopefully, this time it's not coffee creamer. And then the lady who cleans our room doesn't find three co three half empty <laughs> coffee creamers. <laughs> but there's a walk. That's where the Yakuza operate and run. It's that area right over there. Super shiny one. Well, we didn't run into any of them. Right? Well, they saw something out. Was that a sugar daddy? How many of these people do you think are daddies? Six. <laughs> see if you can see the Godzilla head up there. We went to the 7-Eleven right across from our hotel. They didn't have chocolate milk, but they had kiwi milk. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to try kiwi milk. So I've been wanting to try this from the vending machine. I don't know what it is. I have a 50 in my pocket. I, I put a 50 in. It didn't take 50. No? No. It only takes 10. That's right there. Where? 10, 50, 100, and 500. Up there. Oh. Isn't this a 50? Bitch, that's a 5. See, this is what happens when you, you run off of a lot of coin-centric economy. Omar doesn't know what he's doing. Look at this little thing. Cute. Let's go inside. Right. Pretty sure I don't have to shake it. Oh, it looks brown. I think it might be coffee. It kind of tastes like my coffee creamer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it says right here, coffee drink with milk. That's why it tastes like coffee. So there's my coffee creamer. That's the second one. The first one's right in there. I'll never be fooled by Japanese advertising again. I know now that you can't accidentally drink creamer if you don't try and buy milk. Here's a playlist of the rest of my Tokyo videos and subscribe for more content.